Now, all new at 6, the saying, a picture is worth a thousand words. That's what FIU researchers are trying to create with an online COVID research project. Members of the public are asked to submit a personal photograph that represents their experience with the pandemic. CBS4's Hank Tester reports there's been a big response, and you too can get involved. Social distancing, working from home, food giveaways, holidays missed, unemployment, COVID cases on the rise, all moments and part of the fabric of our world the new normal. Um, we decided to sort of switch gears and all sort of begin to document this from a visual standpoint, what we were experiencing as students with the COVID-19 pandemic. It's a gallery of photos. Anyone can contribute. The project called Greeting COVIDians chronicles visually what individuals think one single photo best represents their experience with the pandemic. But for us as, as researchers, I mean, it's a really beautiful opportunity to understand what the, what the public is feeling. A community dialogue resulting in academic papers on social transformation during COVID, leading to discussions on public and private policy changes. We hope on one end that on the, on the very personal level that it's cathartic for people and that people can be reflective and that it's it's simply just an outlet for them to, to be able to, to, to publish in a way their their observations. But on the other end of it, we're hoping this will instigate you know real discussion about how we can be better when we come out on the other end of this pandemic. Those photos online, some of the comments are deeply personal. Here's a few. Anxiety is my new norm. I find myself getting these anxious attacks even when I try and fool my mind. Before COVID-19, I wasn't familiar with this feeling. To beat the cabin fever, long walks in the Everglades with all family members living in the house help to refuel and have a sense of independence. We rarely consider the mental health effects of seeing catastrophe in our every move. Viral risks need to be balanced with self-care and techniques for emotional resilience. And finally, coming soon, a future as bright as our wildest dreams. I think that, I think that people are um, struggling in some ways. I think that some of the photos in our gallery you know, really capture that. But I think for the most part, I think that a lot of people are optimistic. I think that um, at least within themselves, Want to see more of the pictures? Well, check our website, cbsmiami.com. I'm Hank Chester, CBS4 News.